Well, first of all, I'm very excited because I think I joined uh, uh, a very interesting part of the business. Uh, not only because it's a growing part of the business, but also because uh, we are trying to shape the future. And I find it uh, very, uh, very exciting to be sitting with uh, customers trying to figure out how to use IoT to uh, drive their businesses and so on. In terms of plans, I think the, the, the most important part, I would split it in two. First is keep driving our connectivity business. We have uh, a super platform recognized as leader around the world. Uh, we need to make it uh, scale it, uh, make it better, add features and uh, have uh, more and more customers. We already have 65 million connections, we need to add more. And then instead in services, uh, uh, we have picked uh, a couple of verticals, uh, automotive being one, insurance being another one, where we really want to scale up uh, our business. Uh, it's more complicated because uh, it's not pure telecom, you're actually getting into different businesses. So we need to be humble and uh, stay focused, but that's really where we're going to act. Well, because when, when we're talking amongst the uh, operator, there's this obsession of becoming a dump pipe and I've heard that story along many times. And I think in IoT is fundamentally wrong. Why? Because what, what we do for our customers is actually mission critical to them. We provide customers for the first time with connectivity that actually goes to their own customers. So we're not enabling the mobile phones of their employees, just to be, just to be clear. We are actually providing car makers uh, with connectivity that enables their cars and their customers to use entertainment on the go. So I think what we do has become a lot more relevant to our customers, a lot more mission critical and core business, and therefore the ability from our customer side to distinguish between high quality connectivity or lower quality connectivity, depending on SLAs that we can provide or not, has made it a lot more of a sophisticated product. So we're not selling just a generic gigabyte of data that everybody can do. We are selling features, security, analytics, lifecycle management with SLAs. So it's becoming more sophisticated. I think there is a lot of space for differentiation. I really don't want to hear the word commodity because I don't think we're going to go down that, that path. Well, I think there, there is a risk because while it's really two different strategies, while on connectivity you need to be as broad and as big as possible because it's a scale game. So frankly, we're going to provide connectivity to any industry, any customers of any size that wants to, that wants to play in IoT. Frankly, when you're going to services, you're, you're, you're playing outside of telecom. Let's be very clear. I mean, if, if you package connectivity plus hardware plus an application and you put it all together for insurance, you're actually playing in the insurance industry. So you need to know what are the hectares, what is the value chain, uh, how is the market uh, doing, what are the customers really asking and you know we need to be a bit humble as, uh, as uh, companies you know you don't learn how to play in a different industry overnight it takes time it takes resources for instance for automotive we felt that we needed to do an acquisition because we we realized that we didn't know uh, and we didn't have enough uh, capabilities and it would have taken uh, a long time so I think uh, focus is important because you need to recognize that you're moving out of your industry and you can't do spread yourself thin into too many verticals. It's better to go deep and become a leader in a couple of them. As telcos, we are used to charge per minute, per data. Now, in IoT and especially in services, this is becoming uh, uh, more and more of a trap because, frankly, customers are not always interested in the, the, how, how much data is actually needed to, to, to do what they need to do. They're actually interested in their business outcome, in what is actually mission critical to them. So, for instance, in, in, the, in the motor insurance industry, what is really important for them is to reduce the, the, the cost of a managed claim. Uh, and, and, frankly, if we can, through IoT, provide the data that are needed to reduce this claim, frankly, happy days for them. Now, can I completely control the cost of a managed claim? Of course not as a telecom player, but can I provide a data pricing scheme that aligns more with the cost of management? Yes, of course I can. So I think we need to recognize that industries that are not yet fully ready to jump on IoT might need 
the more clever ways of pricing so that when they look at their business model, they say, okay, you know, this pricing will help me get down my cost or get up my revenues, and therefore I'm gonna embrace IoT more. So we need to take a bit of risk, but especially be a bit clever.